What's up guys? Welcome to your like 28th or 29th or something C++ tutorial. I don't really know what one it is. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use a function to only use it on a specific range in the array. So for example, I know that sounds confusing, but in the last couple of tutorials we talked about um, using a function like to sum up all the elements in the array. But what if there are like 10 elements in your array and you only wanted to sum up elements 2, 3, and 4? Oh, you or you only want to sell up, sum up the elements the first one through the fifth one well we don't really know how to work with array ranges yet but in this tutorial you'll know how to so the most common and um, most widely used approach to this is by passing two pointers into a function one pointer points to the beginning of the array and one pointer points to the end of the array or the range that you want to use. So since I told you guys you need a function using two pointers, let's go ahead and build a function using two pointers. So I'm going to call my function uh, sum since that's what it's going to do. So go ahead and put int sum and as your parameters write constant and then go ahead and write int since it's going to be uh, integers we're talking about pointer begin and do this exact same thing and this is going to be the beginning value or where you want to start in your array and then go ahead and write const again int since again we're going to be working with integers pointer and just go ahead and write end or something like that now let's go ahead and build the body of it because we're bodybuilders get it? <laughs> that's what I thought so go ahead and write const and we need one last pointer so go ahead and I'm going to name my pointer and now we need a variable to hold the sum of all these elements. We already uh, made our function called sum so I'm gonna name my total so in total and make sure you start out at zero because you know why wouldn't you? And now let's go ahead and build the loop to loop through the elements in the array. So let's go ahead and make a for loop and it's gonna start and just go ahead and press pointer equals begin and then where do you want to end it? Pointer not equal to not equal to end and then we just want to loop through one at a time so pointer plus plus so now we can go ahead and build body for this and you can add your uh, colons if you want I always do just because uh, I'm just addicted to them so now we have that total variable and what we want to do is each time it goes through the loop we want to take the value of that pointer which is just going to be the value of the elements I'm just making it a pointer because well you're gonna have to learn pointer sometime so why not now and it's just gonna add it to that value of total so if the first value is two it's gonna add two to total if the next one's four the total is now gonna be six if the next one's four it's now gonna be ten got it good and now we need to return total of course we need to return our answer we could name the answer but well too late now we need to go ahead and prototype this function so just copy it and put it at the top paste so now we have a function built that takes the beginning element of an array in the end one and it adds up the sum or sums the numbers so here's what it pretty much does the first one or the pointer points to the beginning item to be processed and then once it loops through one time it takes that value and adds it to the total and then what this one does right here this plus plus it just increments through the loop causing it to point to the next element until it finally gets to the end and again the beginning and the end are going to be declared whenever we call our function so let's go ahead and since we're working with an array let's go ahead and we probably need to make an array I'm going to name my numbers and I'm going to have like eight elements in it and let's go ahead and well add eight elements into it so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure I got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. So now that we have an array, we can begin using our function. So let's go ahead and um, I'm just going to make a variable. I'm going to name my value. This is actually the sum, but I can't name sum because that's what our function was called. So int value equals the sum. 
and now we need to pass it the beginning and ending locations of our array. So numbers, that'll start at the beginning, and numbers plus 8 will go one past the ending one. And you need to go one past the ending one so you know where to, it. well, it's not really useful when you're doing the whole array, but uh, you'll see why later. I'll make another one later and uh, you'll see why. So now let's just output it on the screen. Um, the total, or let's put the sum of the numbers is, and let's just go ahead and press value, and this end line. And now let me run this, execute, compile, and run, and we'll see how many errors we got. Check my semicolons real quick. Int main, and oh, forgot my semicolon right here. That is embarrassing. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you're prototyping your functions, always put a semicolon. Not like me. So now it says the sum of the numbers is 154. So that pretty much did what we did in our last couple of tutorials. But now I promise you that we do a range of numbers. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and say, um, instead of the value of this entire thing, let's go ahead and put the first two. So the first two is numbers and numbers plus two. And I'll show you why this is. If you're saying, well, let me go ahead and make sure uh, it compiles right before I do. I don't think I could have messed anything up that fast. But it should be, yeah, there we go, 45. And let me show you guys why this works. The numbers is the first value. So it starts with 2, and this is index 0 of the array. And now it adds 2. So this is index 1, and this is index 2. But if you're saying, all right, why didn't I add this fourth one? This last one right here tells it where to end. So you never include this when you're adding up numbers. So for example, if we have numbers plus 1, it would start with 43. And if we had numbers plus um, 4, it would go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But it wouldn't add that 6. So it would add 43 plus 4 plus 21, I think. Let's go ahead and compile and run that and see if it's right. So it should end, wow, how the heck did I mess that up that fast? I don't even remember what I was teaching now. I put, I really put, I mean, I can't even talk, that's so embarrassing. So anyways, it's going to add 43, well, let's just go ahead and compile and run, so I'll figure it out. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's not going to add the 6, so it should end in an 8, right there. So it adds 43 plus 4 plus 21. So this is 1, and this is 4 right here, but it doesn't include the 4. So there is my answer right there. I don't even know if I showed you guys the last answer, but, well, there you go. So that's your quick tutorial on how to um, work with a range of an array. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my next tutorial. That doesn't even make sense. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.